Guess that kind of makes me shaggy. <sighs> oh, how right I was. Your friend Lucy is mixed up in the bad things. She could be dangerous. Lucy is my best friend. She would never have do never do anything to hurt me. And I won't let you hurt her either. Look, I know it sounds weird, but this isn't a joke. People are getting killed. You're probably safe now that we told you, but you won't be an easy target anymore. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. I think you're kind of cute. Says the people who are inviting random people to parties. All right, I don't trust anyone at the moment. Oh dear, I think I'm blushing. He seems sincere and not scary at all. Sure, not scary in any way, shape or form. Maybe this is all just a misunderstanding. So, um, you guys solve mysteries and stuff. Kind of, sorta. We help out when we can. Mostly we just like to have fun. With drugs. They lied. We don't spend our days hunting for shoplifters or anything. But if you saw someone steal the lady's purse and run off, and you could stop them, you'd do it, wouldn't you? I suppose. <laughs> no, <laughs> she clearly wouldn't. I'd want to help, but I'd be scared. What if the thief had a knife or a gun? Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be the same for you. We're all pretty strong and tough. See Darlene, the one with the spiky hair? She likes kicks like a horse. Horses don't even kick that hard. Llamas, though. Llamas? Ostriches, though. They really hit hard. <sighs> Fucking alpacas on my mind. Llamas, honestly. Yeah, ostriches, yeah. They kick harder. Nah. So you're not scared, even of a horrible murderer. Well, it doesn't matter, really. We've got to do it. Like you said, normal people would be scared. We know what's out there about the bad things. We have to fight them so people like you never have to know. You're a nice girl. You shouldn't have to worry about monsters trying to drink your blood. Lovely. Drink my blood. Uh, oh, um, pretend I didn't say that. He's too reassuring. He's a lovely, charming gentleman. Really, I don't want you to worry. You're safe now. It's going to be alright. Suddenly, Tim turns away from Lucy and walks over to me. Your friend had some interesting things to say about you, Christina. It seems that you are the one with your hands in these murders. Yeah, because I found the dead body. That's not what I said. How much do you know? Have you seen where the blood is going? What? Come on, man. She's clean. You admit you dumped the bat woman's body in the field? It was already there. I just found it. That's all. It was an accident. Lucy, what did you tell him? Nothing. All I said was I didn't know anything about any murders except what you told me. She's lying. Wait, I'm getting confused. This isn't working. Maybe we should start over. He snaps his fingers and everybody stands <laughs> to stand around him. Okay, so we know who the bitches are and we know who the real leader is. Ironically, the one who looks about 14. Hi, I'm Tim. These are my friends, Marta, Bert, Randy, Eric and Darlene. <laughs> Oh, come on. Okay, so we know that's Randy. So this person here is either Bert or Eric. He looks like neither. <laughs> Whatever. And you are Lucy and Christina. And we're all going to get along, right? Um, right? I don't know what to say. One minute they're shouting, the next minute they're smiling. <laughs> I think all of them are smiling. I mean, look, come on. This guy, you can't even see his smile. His moustache is just that big. He <laughs> doesn't even have a mouth. Randy said they're not on drugs, but I'm scared. I don't know what they'll do next. So let's all do something together and let get to know each other a little better. What should we do? We were on our way to the mall. She stops and looks at me. Of course, the phone. No one's told the phone, the gang about the phone I found. I was going to the mall to get rid of it. Should I tell them that? Show them the phone, keep quiet. Why would I keep quiet about something like that? If they want it, they can fucking keep it. Show them the phone. We were going to the mall to put this phone in the lost and found. I don't know who it belongs to. It just turned up in my bag. Is it Lucy? That's got me... Uh... See, if I've learned anything with Hanako Games, it's never who you think it is. <laughs> there's there's no such thing of double bluffing. It's like, oh, it's so obvious. It can't... I you know, it might be them as a double bluff. No, no, it's it's almost definitely not them. All right. So I want to smite Lucy at the moment, and she's evil. So good to know. The dead woman had a phone like this too, so I guess it was a clue. I hand the phone to Tim, who looks at it suspiciously. Thanks, we'll investigate this. I smile and try to act casual. I don't want her to get upset again. 
So, what do you guys like to do? <laughs> Eat Scooby snacks? Ah, oh, fucking hell. We play sports a lot. You two like soccer? Um, we could do boys against girls. We've even got sides. Does it look like I'm good at soccer? Alright, whatever. Well, I guess it's not really even. One side has me. Come off it, Randy. You're tall and fast, but your defense isn't that... Then why is he playing in defense if he's tall and fast? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Alright, how about we let you choose what positions we play? Let's see what you girls can do. A game of soccer. That sounds safe enough. It could even be fun. <laughs> it's never going to be fun. Alright, I'm not very good at sports, though. Can I find a way for us to win? Oh, come on! <laughs> Fuck's sake. Alright, well I'm useless, so as we all know, useless person goes in goal. Uh, he's shit in defence, so we're sticking him in defence. Uh, who's good and who isn't? Darlene looks like she could be quite good. And, and, and Marta for that. Oh wait, it has to be boys against girls, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I can't go sticking them in there. Alright, well, um, meh. Alright, no, I don't want that. I, I said I... Ugh! Fine! It's fine! God. Alright, we'll put Tim in goal. Start game! <laughs> wow! It's a football game! Okay, so they've already scored one. 1-1. One, one. Tie game resetting puzzle. Okay, so they don't like me doing it like that. So, me and goal is pointless. So let's do it like this, then this, and then this. And then obviously we know Randy's shite in defence. I don't even remember how I did this last time. Tim, you can be up for... Oh, man. I forgot you can't change them. And do it like this and see where we get. 1-0. Wonderful. Okay, so I, I feel we've lost this already. The boys team won. Alright, so... Marta is quite good. So Marta can go up front. What one's Marta? That one. Darlene def... Defense. She did criticise the other person's defence, so it does make sense. I'm shit, so I go in goal. And he goes there. So then we'll put you in defence, you in goal, because I think we scored one like that. And then swap you two around. And if this doesn't work, we're going to have to cheat, because I can't be bothered to use all the combinations. 1-0! Come on! And now... Don't you dare score. Oh, for fuck. <sighs> All right, I can't be bothered. Hang right, so I'm told it should go something a little like this. This is a walkthrough, which has worked for other puzzles. Okay, see? Actually saved. Wow. Okay, we could have been a while trying to figure out that, because Christine's apparently defense, because that makes sense. There we are. Easy enough. All right, we showed them. Nice to see girl power on... I hate the word girl power, it's so annoying. We could use more cheekers in the tribe. Maybe you should stick around. What did you think? <laughs> Suddenly swarming. It was fun. We did have a good time, we played hard, and I'm tired. For like the 30 seconds, whoa! But it was exciting, and it felt great to win. For a while, I was able to forget. Oh no, I was only supposed to be out for a few minutes. I've got to get home, my mother, she'll be worried. Sure, maybe we'll see each other again sometime. That's a creepy thing to say. He hands me a slip of paper. If you want to meet up or talk, give me a call. He waves and walks away. Randy hangs back from the others. Hey, I just wanted to say... Well, be careful. There's a lot of things I can't tell you yet. Why not? Tim said not to. Just remember what he said about your friend. Stay safe. I'll talk to you later, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, I'd like to say it always goes to your first instinct, but I know how Hanako Games writes the games now, so I keep constantly second-guessing myself. All right. How strange. Lisa returns to my side, fidgeting nervously. Are we leaving? I want to get home. Yes, we're going. We return to the bus stop. <laughs> the gang eh, doesn't seem to be following us. Lisa remains silent as the bus carries us back to our homes. I wonder what she's thinking. The bus is filled with strangers. A young woman bounces a crying toddler on her lap behind us. A man with a scraggly beard is standing up in the aisle beside me, slyly peering down and down the front of my shirt. Oh, 
that, 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 that's slightly disgusting. I guess if this isn't the best time to talk. I get out of my stop, but Lisa remains on the bus. I wave at her as it pulls away. She doesn't wave me back. I am standing on the sidewalk, pavement, alone. <laughs> the air is hot and still. It's a beautiful summer afternoon. Why does everything feel so wrong? The back of my neck prickles and itches. Is somebody watching me? I turn in place looking around. I can't see anyone. If someone is watching me, I must look strange spinning around like this. That and you've blown your cover completely. <sighs> I'd better get this side. I don't like standing here all by myself. I take a deep breath and let it down again. Home and safe. At least here everything is completely normal. <sighs> you can't say things like that, Christina, and expect everything to be fine. Alright, come on. What's bad? You know what I really want right now? Cookies! I gather up the ingredients and mix together eggs, flour, sugar, butter, vanilla, chocolate chips and a touch of cinnamon. While I'm rolling into the dough, into the sticky balls, I keep my eye on the phone. It would be just my luck if it rang while my hands are covered in goo and I can't answer. But nobody calls. I get my cookie. I get my cookies. I get the cookies in the oven and wash my hands. And still, nobody calls. This is a good thing. Doesn't Lucy want to talk about everything that's happened? I do. And I don't. I wish she'd call, but when I think about calling her myself, I'd rather eat cookies. <laughs> Who wouldn't rather eat cookies over doing most things? I would. I'd happily eat cookies. I guess it's only fair. I kick back and relax for the rest of the afternoon. Christina? Christina, are you there? Oh, bum's home. There you are. She looks confused. You made cookies? That's what confused you. The fact that I made cookies. <sighs> wow, I must be pretty talentless. Is that bad? No, it's just... Did she clean up in here? I did tidy up a bit this morning before Lucy came over, but I'm not sure why she's asking, so I don't say anything. She sets her purse down and looks at me. I tried to call you earlier, but no one answered the phone. I was busy. Oops. Lie, admit you went out. <sighs> Lying never gets anywhere. I know this in games. Admit you went out. She probably won't be upset as long as I apologise. It's not like I was grounded or anything. I went out for a little while. I'm sorry, I know I should have called you first. It's alright, I just worry when I can't find you. Someday you'll understand, when you have children of your own. <laughs> Every moment you're not watching them, you worry that terrible things will happen. This is why I'd be a terrible father, I just wouldn't care. Just be like, oh fine, use as much glue as you want, just let me play my game. I'd be a good father. I wonder if she's heard about the things which have been happening to other girls. Don't tell her! Oh god, probably not. If you did, she wouldn't let me go out at all. Well, since you've already made the dessert, I'd better make the dinner. Dessert? Whatever. She prepares a simple meal of tuna pasta for us to eat together. I take a seat at the table. She puts my plate in front of me and pats me on the head. <laughs> Condescending, slightly. Mom, I'm not three anymore. I know, you're growing up so fast. Before I know it, I'll have to fit you for a wedding gown. I'm only 15. Can you know, calm down. Are there any young men I shouldn't be worried? I should be worrying about? Mother! Oh, I know you won't tell me. That doesn't stop me from wondering. I do remember a bit of what it's like to be a teenager. She says that, but I can't really imagine her as a teen. She must have photos somewhere. It's really easy. All right. Was your dad your first boyfriend? Oh, no. Your first serious boyfriend, I mean, not just someone you dated. No, he wasn't that either. <laughs> I'm 15! Why are they only having this talk now? Oh, I, I suppose it's better than, you know, not remembering what one of your parents does. Cough, you know who you are. Oh, well, before I met your father, I was engaged to someone else. What? My high school sweetheart. He proposed the night of our senior formal. He was always a gentleman. What went wrong? We were very fond of each other, but we were never in love. We grew up together, we were friends, and it seemed to make sense that we should get married. But he wanted to stay in the same town and take over the family farm and raise children right away. I wasn't ready for that. She doesn't say it, but I can guess the rest. Dad shows up and sweeps her off her feet like a superhero! Dad or she was just drunk and went to the nearest bar. Who knows? 